we have this survey that seven out of ten drivers are saying that since the Prime Minister ruled out any new smart motorways, oh. uh, seven out of ten drivers say all existing smart They're motorways right. should be reverted back yeah. to normal it be 10 motorways out of 10, say it. with a hard shoulder. And the government says that's too expensive. No, it, it... Um, that seems uh, remarkable because the government has said it's going to put new safety lay-bys yeah. in, you know, these kinds of refuge stops. Um, quite recently, this week, in fact, footage was released to ITV News showing him at the moment a man is frantically waving a plastic bag to alert other drivers to his Stop. broken down vehicle. Now, you can just see him Stop. there on the oh, side. Stop. And there's his vehicle. I mean, the, do you know what? These motorways, they frighten the life out of me. Why is somebody... This poor guy is and, trying yeah, to say to people, who, don't run into my who vehicle. Who came up with a brilliant... I, well, look, we've had them since 2006. Why do they call them smart motorways? They're the opposite. They're stupid, they're thick, they're dangerous. Get rid of a lot of them. Well, if they're they're going to stop... They're not going to okay, build the I, next nine. I, all right. They're stopping can it. I, get, I, just get rid of them. Can I just, can I just say, dual carriageways, you can do 70 miles an hour, you don't have uh, hard shoulders there. Do you? You can, right? 37 so, so why... people, Kevin, 37 yep. people have died on these hard shoulders yep. on smart motors. Yeah, how many... They're not smart. How, how many of those deaths are directly attributable to not having the hard shoulder? If you, if you t put in the hard shoulder Quite again, a few, I think. you will increase, yes. you will increase few, congestion. Well, well, I'd rather increase congestion and have people dying because they've got nowhere to park their car. Yeah. Yeah. And... I mean, I... Sorry, Kevin. Look, no, I don't like the idea I, of smart You're motorways. doing a valiant job of trying to defend no. them. I don't think no, many no, people no, would. No, they're terrible. No, I, Especially the families of I, those no, no, who have been... I, because, and they get off, they, they're on the... And they're, they're, I tell you, when the accidents... And there's no CCTV I to protect... I what I would... The accidents I've seen on motorways have, uh, have been in... Um, Right-hand lanes, overtaking lanes, yeah, and I've these seen things people really are not, mashed. They've got to get Look, rid of them, yeah. all of them. I think yeah. they will, but they will. I a think cost. there's huge pressure. Well, so what? Now. There's a cost. Well, the cost. Well, Look, all the other people are watching. Who died apply the... on the hard shoulder oh, yeah. because a ca wish, car has ploughed into them? I wish you would apply, and you say, "Ooh, so what if there's a cost?" Would apply that to the National Health Service Kevin, or education? It, Kevin, this or is a better, terrible or analogy. Or money for very Kevin, poor this people is who are gross, dying because of poverty. This is insulting and gross to people who've lost families on hard shoulders it's because a, of these stupid you know, smart motors that aren't and smart. Also, where do you go? The thing is, when you crash on a or you break down on a smart motorway. I'm just not sure where you go. That poor guy we know that, felt like he had to tell people that, not to crash into his we car. We know the, ones, the, the, the two guys who were killed and they'd had a minor bump and there was nowhere to go over the side because it was such a, a sheer steep drop, drop yeah. you know, of 30 feet I think it's and they died on the hard shoulders. same on dual carriageways. You don't have hard so, shoulders. You well, try and get in the slowest lane, but you country, can't always do it. Two wrongs don't make a right. Quite. No, we well, we have, we've right, changed to smart motorways without any form of education yeah. of culturally adapting. Now, you have other countries that mandate by law that you need to have a reflective sign or cones in the back of your car so that if you're stopping on a highway, yeah, yeah. you can walk 100 metres beforehand, you can put your reflective sign down rather than waking a plastic bag. But because we plastic seem to bag. do this mm -hmm. underneath the radar without actually having a mass dialogue and communication campaign that says we're changing the way we work our road system, we need to change behaviour, this needs to be part of driving a car, We've ended up having the worst of both worlds. The worst. Yeah, not... you're, you're right about that, because I've got all the gear in the back of my car, reflective mm. jackets, two reflective jackets, the triangle, You have a else. sign. It's, yeah, a triangle, it's, yeah. It's for, for driving in France. It's not yes. required mm. in this country. Now, I'm sure you'd denounce it as bureaucracy well, I don't have a car. or something. Don't, if don't, don't it drag was me into it. I don't have a car. Brought into, into here. But you're right, there was no cultural change. Yep. Smart motorways. He's defending to... this because it's one of the new ladies. No, Mad I'm, idea. No, I'm the not... Tories should have dumped I, I, years ago. I want, to, I want to see the evidence. I want to see the <clears> very. 37 hard... people no, no. have died. And how many people have died on other parts of motorways? Well, so why don't we reduce That's it. What's the point? Let's just do the things which reduce the number of people who are dying. With one minute left, a quick change of subject. 